So I wanted to talk a little bit about the other thing that I think is really cool about snow. I was just reading uh, about how you describe it as beauty tech, which to me, I think is, is a really, it's, it's sort of that um, mind frame changing or, you know, in order. So you were talking about all your criteria for your products that you wanted to do. You want, you wanted to do something that actually evolved the genre or the form in a little bit of a way by adding that tech component to it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great point. Um, you know, you, when you start it, you start a business, you kind of, you know, we started off as snow teeth whitening really because we had developed uh, a, a formula that allowed us to, to uh, deliver results like in the dentist without sensitivity. And so uh, one of our ingredients um, that, that is proprietary and the, the biggest advantage I have against these corporations is the fact that I started off uh, with nothing, first of all. Um, there's a face to the brand where you don't know who Crest is. You don't know, like, who's the founder of Crest? Who's the founder of Colgate? And so in this day and age, customers want to interact with the CEO, with the founding team. They want to know who are they buying from. And whether it's just one of our celebrity partners or it's myself or it's our customers before and afters, people want to respond in a social media way. So for, for, for us, we realized very quickly that the oral care markets um, was lacking innovation and that it's it's very expensive. It's very, um, because of the, the duopoly of Colgate and Crest and there's Glaxo, uh, Smith, Klein, GSK, very, very large companies, almost impossible to penetrate at a retail level. And I said, I want to take that challenge on. And I always say that, uh, you know, these companies are in trouble because uh, the fact that I'm so young, I have 50 years to snowball this thing, no pun intended, until the point that it's it's where I want it to be. And the other problem they have is that uh, I'm already rich. So the fact is I'm not trying to make money. I'm not trying to buy another Lambo. I'm not trying to buy another Bentley. I've already got all the shit that I want. Now I want domination. I want complete growth to the to the moon and I won't stop until I die. And so um, that's, that's the thing. And I want to mention one thing though is coming from the affiliate marketing background has been probably my biggest key advantage. Uh, it's a hidden advantage in the marketplace because I understand how to monetize. I understand ROI. Um, I understand how to buy media. Um, you know, I bought hundreds of millions of dollars in media by myself and with my team. Um, and so when I'm thinking of a product, I'm thinking, what were the best affiliate offers that I used to promote? And they had real celebrity endorsements, not just throwing Dr. Oz on a random page. And I said, how can I actually get Dr. Oz to be my partner in the business? And then feed that to our affiliates, feed that to our team and say, yeah, actually you don't need a Photoshop Oprah on there. She actually is a partner of ours. Use the shit out of her image. She wants you to. And so that was huge on the celebrity side. And then creating patented technology where we, um, we globalize the patents so that we can shut down anyone that even comes close to it. Um, and then having really, really unique branding so that um, people can't rip you off. If they do, you can shut them down because you have trademarks, patents, all that. But that instead of ripping you off, they want to work with you.